Well, happy pandemic, everybody. Um, wanted to share a little concept that I think helps people understand where I'm coming from. Uh, and that is uh, keeping your eye on the fire. So that risk of relapse, I think, is kind of like whether or not the fire is uh, just some smoldering coals or whether it's flaring up and it's flaming up. And you have to watch this, this thing over time to make sure that, you know, if it starts to flare up a little bit, you put that fire out before you relapse. Because a lot of times you can see these things coming. You can see the little flare up building and that smoldering fire that you can never put out, unfortunately, uh, is going to start building up and you're going to have resentments. You're going to have, you're going to be overextended. You're going to start having what has been told to me as stinking thinking. You're going to start keeping score. You're going to start having what are little flare-ups, little, little increase activity that's going to eventually lead to relapse, whether it's alcohol or opioids or anger or whatever the thing is that you're trying to keep under control. It's always there. You know, that smoldering fire is always there. And you have to keep your eye on it. You can't just turn your back on this thing and have it flame up and then all of a sudden you turn into the, the thing that you hate about yourself. You don't want to think about it. And going to a meeting or calling a counselor or uh, working on these things reminds you of the thing you le like least about yourself, the thing you hate about yourself. You don't want to think about that. You don't want to go to a meeting and remind yourself that, you know, you're a user or that, you know, you're an angry person or that, you know, whatever the hell's going on. And so your inclination is to just put it out of your mind. But then the fire starts to build back up again. And pretty soon you're relapsed. You're right back to where you didn't want to be. You got to keep your eye on it. You got to be engaged in monitoring that smoldering fire and seeing, man, am I getting resentful? Am I starting to, you know, am I starting to have thoughts about how I deserve to use or wouldn't be that bad? Or these are the flames that start to build up and pretty soon you're back drinking again or you're back doing whatever. And so we give ourselves a license to use, a license to be angry, a license to be whatever. And you can see yourself starting to fill out that application. Oh, I'm going to get myself a license. You know, I am justified. That is the fire that's building up. You start to have these thoughts. And by engaging in a meeting, and seeing somebody who maybe remind you of somewhere that you don't want to go back to, or maybe inspire you to move forward and be where they are, or talk with a counselor and talk about the anger and the resentment and the guilt or the whatever it is that's driving you emotionally to either shut it off or to whatever. You need to keep your eye on these things. So we don't go to meetings and we don't engage with our counselor. We don't engage with our faith-based resource or whatever it is that we're using to punish ourselves for being who we are. We are who we are. And we can't just snap our fingers and completely eliminate the fire. The fire is what we have. We learned it. We've gained it somehow. There are ear irreversible changes that occur in ourselves that we need to accept that not that we're damaged but that we need to monitor that fire so that it doesn't start flaring up and flaming up and all of a sudden we've lost all the progress that we've had and we lose the trust in our friends and family or we destroy something that we have tried so hard to rebuild so Keep your eye on the, hopefully, the smoldering coals. 
And the way you do that is by engaging in recovery. Not as a, that's not punishment. That's reward. You're going to end up being rewarded by having that fire under control or noticing, oh man, this thing is flaring up, man. I got to, I got to cut back. You know, I sent an email today to my bosses. I'm like, I'm overextended. You know, I'm, I'm resentful. You know, I'm angry. Er, than I want to be. The flame is flaring up. I got to get it under control. And I have to, I want to do these things. I want to help out. You know, I want to, whatever, you know, be involved in good things and change and moving our organization further, but I can't do it at the detriment to myself and my family and everything. Then I lose things that I find valuable. So, uh, so I said, I got to cut back, you know, I have to not be overextended and I can't put myself in a situation where we're going to be resentful and I'm going to start filling out that license to be an angry person because I'm justified because of whatever. So that's my message for the today. For today, uh, keep your eye on the fire. Make sure that when it starts to to build up, that you're aware of it, that you don't ignore it. These things just don't happen. You know, you can see these things happen along. You can start to, you know, you're starting to get into trouble. You're having the thoughts. You're not being honest with yourself. I have a patient who unfortunately has now died of cancer, wonderful person who taught me this important lesson. The first thing that happens is for him. He couldn't tell himself the truth. And I think that the way that I'm reinterpreting that for you is that, you know, don't ignore the flames that start building on that smoldering fire. You got to get on it. You got to keep it under control and throw a little water on that thing and keep it under control. You won't be able to put it out, not completely. You're always going to have to watch it. You know, that's the way it is. Good luck, and uh, stay safe out there. Bye now.